full of AFL alumni. It's the Pats and the Dolphins on Thursday night. From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. The wait is finally over. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis here in the start of a new NFL season, and we kick it off with a bang on Thursday night. What's interesting about these Thursday night games is oftentimes we hear people say, is it really fair for players to play on Thursday night? But what did we hear from both of these teams going into this one? How excited they were to have the spotlight on their teams, their franchises, the rest of the league watching them go at it. Turn sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. And they will be let out by their second-year quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. A bad start there, a big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Brown goes in motion left. On play action, they'll throw. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Two plays so far, run and a pass attempt, and both have gone backwards. Probably not how they drew that up. Not at all. <laughs> Looking for a better play coming up on third. A miserable start here on their opening drive as they come up on a third and very long. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward, incomplete pass. Good open field tackling there. A 50-yard punt followed by just a one-yard return. And the Patriots take over. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And a look at a guy. Definitely got a little razzle-dazzle to him. Can do it with his arm or his legs. Their mobile QB. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure. And he brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and it'll be second in a couple. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. Buried for the sack by big Jalen Carter. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Here's a play fake as they set up the throw. And that will be incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. And no one there to stop it. Hits it the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. So Miami coming out for their second drive. 
They were forced to punt on their initial drive of the new season. Now they're ready to go as they begin again with a first and ten. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Now a play fake here on first down. Now to the sideline and it's intercepted. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about it. he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting negative or otherwise and turn it into positives moving forward so back onto the field come the pats for their second drive they'll have very good starting field position here after the turnover as they search for the first points of the ball game they'll send a receiver in motion to the left they'll come out throwing here to start the drive and he's got his big wide receiver complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Second down and a yard. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Patriots first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. They'll look to throw again. And good throw here. That's complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. From four yards out. And the Patriots use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. We're still in the first quarter, but it's apparent they're going to have to come up with a different defensive game plan for him because right now he's kind of having his way against that defense and has added a touchdown to the list. How do you slow him down? They're going to have to mix up some coverages, maybe change who's guarding him. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And he's one for one on the new year as his kick is good. Five plays there on that drive. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Dolphins offense returning to the field. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Tough spot looking at second and 16 here after the big loss. They're going to look to throw. Throw left side taken in by Hill. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> then this is the end result. Big yardage after it. Got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact and he'll go deep. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. 10 yards on the pickup. It's second and inches at the 49-yard line. 
yard line. They'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Pierce will try to pick it up. Uh-oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Well, partner, first game of the season and one of the first big defensive stops of the season. Brought a little extra juice with him, didn't he? Because of the adrenaline that's got to be rushing through all of these guys. Being on the national spotlight to get things started, that's a big play to get things going. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And out of bounds, sailed over, looked like right near the pylon. This one's going to be perfect. Directional kicking at its finest right down at the one-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll get him a little bit of breathing room across the five to the six-yard line. Tackle made there by Buda Baker. Here's a second and five. They'll set up to throw. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Back to throw here. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football. So a little more space to work with here from the 13 on first and 10. That's out to the left, flat and complete. And some room to run now. He's on his way. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. A great effort there. 87 yards. And the Patriots have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. Elliott good on the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. They go play action here on first down. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. At the 20-yard line. They'll drop the throw. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. They'll send Brown in motion right. They'll set up a throw. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Boy, tough spot here as they approach the line of scrimmage. A long way to go to try to pick up this first down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. Well, they were 
weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. They've had multiple opportunities on offense and still haven't scored any points. Felt like they wanted to loosen things up, throw it downfield, and see if maybe they could get a big play and a quick strike. So possession goes over here on the punt, and out will come the offense as they take over. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Now this offense in midseason form here in the opener. It's first and 10. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense. A little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them. They did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. Hands it off out of the gun. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. He'll look to throw. That is caught, and past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. They'll look to throw now on first down. This will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And I think the ball's out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carried around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So three points there, and they continue to build this first half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps. And the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They'll look to throw here on first down. Gets the dump off to Pierce. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it'll be second down. Out of bounds at the 43-yard line. A gain of two brings up second and eight. Now back to throw. Delivers another one to Pierce. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up third and two. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. He felt the pressure coming there. That was a good job of just making something out of nothing, so to speak. Yeah, it took the hit and still made the play. You know, when we talk about runners, all right, and on running plays, runs after contact, we call that getting dirty yards, tough, gritty ones. 
To me, that's like the version of a dirty pass. He knows he's going to get smacked, yet still delivers the football and picks up good yardage. Eight yards, first down as they're able to convert. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Back to throw again. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That's underneath to Pierce, and he'll go down at the 28. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. That's another Dolphins first down. First and 10 at the 28-yard line. Looking to throw. On target over the middle to Hill. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. A first red zone opportunity of the new year here as they come up now first and 10. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. A chance for their first points of the season here as it's first and goal. In motion left, the tight end. Back to throw. Now he's got it. Touchdown! From three yards out. And the Dolphins get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. There you go, Charles, his first touchdown pass of the new season. And he had a strong rookie year. So much more expected of him this one, as you might imagine. He threw that one with confidence and assuredness. And I noticed that the celebration a little bit more subdued than his first touchdown pass last year as a rookie. Yeah, he certainly is acting like he's done it before. The extra point splits the uprights, and that'll cut the lead to 17-7. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Now a hit and a loose football. And it looks like the defense has got it. The Pats going to get one final possession in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. It's a game of 10. First down, Patriots. So we have reached halftime here in the Thursday night opener as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. Plenty of good games to choose from in that early window. We'll highlight the one down in Tampa, a big test for the Bucks at home, as they'll square off against the New York Jets. The 4 o'clock games have some intrigue as well, especially up in Buffalo, where it'll be the Bills taking on the Dallas Cowboys. And finally, Sunday night football. They've got a good one lined up between the Baltimore Ravens and the Denver Broncos. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, but we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side could play mistake-free football the rest of the way. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Patriots' offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out.
New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Now following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. Here we go on second and 12. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Well, that was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And that is incomplete. Well, it's too early to figure out what kind of adjustments this defense made at halftime, but that's a good start to the second half. They can now afford to give up more points and fall further behind, so well done to force the punting situation here. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. A big kick, 50 yards that time with a return of four, and it'll be Dolphin football. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hill. Will go down as a gain of six, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Marcus Jones picks it, and the Patriots are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Boy, Brandon, that's what I'd call an ill-advised pass right there on third down. I mean, you just need a yard or two to keep the drive going. Instead, he's trying to hit a home run. You've got to really like your chances if you're going to take a shot like that. New England trying to get a place on offense. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and ten. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And he's going to use his legs here. Oh, what a move. Oh, and now some space to operate. And they will finally haul him down at the Dolphins' 18. A big-time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. So this play, you know, until recently, only something you'd probably expect to see in a college game, but running quarterbacks are certainly in vogue, and this turned into a big play. And you and I both know that for a long time, coaches worried about their quarterbacks taking too much punishment running plays like this, and they still work. Now the ball comes loose, and this is picked up by the Dolphins. Well, you had an offense working with a comfortable two-score lead here in the third quarter, and certainly doesn't feel as comfortable now following the turnover. Yeah, you're right about that, because now the nerves start to come into play a little bit. You're a little bit jangled. You don't want to give your opponents any avenues to get back into the game. What you'd rather do, put up signs that say, roads closed. Miami set to take over. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. 
And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. They'll wind up getting just a yard. And it brings up third and five now. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at right about the 30-yard line. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. So first and 10 now from the 30. Pierce gets this one running right, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. But well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Second and six. Incomplete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Marcus Jones picks it. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. Boy, so another interception, CD. And it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now... His head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. New England's offense set to go. But following the interception, they're set up nicely here, already inside the red zone, knocking on the door, if you will, first and 10. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. And the Dolphins are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. Wow, so wipe out the INT roughing the passer. What a disaster. An absolute disaster, and you hope their lockers are not right next to each other <laughs> for the postgame. Safe to say one is not buying the other dinner. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Well, that's going to bring up a big call now because he's unable to make the play himself on second down. Now you just have to wonder, will they keep the ball in his hands on third down? They'll look to throw on third and goal. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. So a big chance goes by the wayside there. A tough break on third and goal. He yeah, has a general rule. You know you're usually not going to win games with field goals. But in this case, they had three points in their pocket. I get what he was trying to do, but that's a big swing of momentum right there. The Dolphins offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And it's been a rough night at the office for him. He's been more of a liability than an asset throughout the contest. And this offense is having a hard time overcoming his struggles to this point. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Now, they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. It's Dolphin football, but they trail here as we get set for the fourth.
From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. That's complete to Pierce. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. In motion, Hill. On play action, they'll throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 30. 25 yards there on the catch and run. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that on your side. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. It's Hill, complete. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. So from the 25, this is second and five. They'll look to throw again. Tyreek Hill's got another one. And Hill is going to have a Dolphins first down as he's brought down at the 16. The man in motion is Brown. And he'll get it here on the touch pass. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. And a lot of times these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Now a first carry for their fullback. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. After a play like that, it should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. They'll look to throw. He's going to have the first down and then some. Touchdown, Dolphins! An 11-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. We may be a moment because we've got a game again. And, partner, except for those on the West Coast, we're able to be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big-time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there, and they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. Point after, right down the middle. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And now out come the Patriots. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually trying. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Well, that's where you get, apparently, when you try to take on a Pro Bowl cornerback. And what a play there to make the interception and also bring it back for six. And he is so good that we've seen teams absolutely stay away from throwing the ball at him. Here, he's just reading the quarterback's eyes the entire way, makes a great play on the football, and turns it into six. Extra point right down the middle. And that will make this a four-point game. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And they have to try and move past that pick six because now they're dealing with a fourth quarter deficit and they need this drive to end in points. 
After the pick six, they go right back to the air. It's caught by Jackson. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. On third down, they'll try and run for it on the draw. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as good running gets him to about the 44. That's how you get right a bump in the map, because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. He'll look to throw. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Now, right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. So the failure to convert, no doubt, really hurts. But this one's not over. A good chunk of time on the clock and the timeouts. Yeah, not only do they have the timeouts, as you just noted, they're going to get an extra one with the two-minute warning. And that's going to help them big way. So in a sense, they have four timeouts in their pocket. The big thing, stopping them on defense now. They can't let them get a first down and make them use it. Oh, no, he lost the football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Well, partner, here's where team football gets tested a little bit because I know the defensive guys were over there chilling on the sidelines, and all of a sudden, they heard the sudden change call because that fumble puts them right back on the field, and they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth, a costly turnover. So the Patriots now down 21-17, to 17, a little under two and a half to go. This is only week one of the season, folks. Get strapped in as they come up here first and ten. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Second and two. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. That's exactly what they were looking for. If they get another game like that, they'll be right there in field goal range. And the tension building. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. From the gun, they'll try to run it. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Dolphins have just about sewn up this football game. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it. And that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill. The offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. Yeah, 
We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Now the first carry here for the running back. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Victory very likely now for the Dolphins as they take a knee here. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. They go down to a knee, and the new campaign off to a good start. It's a win here in week one. Ryan Stonehouse in punt formation. Well, this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division, you knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for the Dolphins, they begin the new campaign with a victory here in front of the home crowd in the Thursday opener. And now they'll have a few extra days here before they face the Giants next week. Meanwhile, for New England, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Indianapolis to take on the Colts. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon.